Hey everybody, I'm here to introduce more examples of mutually recursive data. If you haven't already, I would suggest watching the Intro to Mutual Recursion video. Let's try and define a tree-like structure that has two numbers stored on one level, then on the next level it has three numbers stored, then two numbers stored on the next level, etc. alternating between two and three numbers stored. We can represent this with two structures a two structure and a three structure. Notice how the two node tree data de definition refers to the three node tree and the three node tree data definition refers back to the two node tree data definition. Here are some examples. Notice the alternating pattern between the two and three structures. As mentioned in the previous video, an important step for dealing with these types of data definitions is to have proper templates. These templates are closely based on the data definition. Let's start with the two node tree. Since there's a three node tree reference in one of the cases of a two node tree data definition, it is safe to assume that we also need a template for a three node tree. In a two node tree, according to the data definition, we have two cases. Either it is empty or it is a two structure. We can use a cond to determine which of the two cases the two node tree is. In the case that it is a two structure, we have three accessor functions. The two first and two second accessor functions return numbers. The two next returns a three node tree, which needs a template to process it accordingly. Let's start defining that template. A three node tree has two cases, either it is empty or a three structure. We can use a con to determine which of the two cases a given three node tree is. The three structure has four accessor functions. The three first, three second, and three third accessors return numbers, whereas the three next accessor returns a two node tree, which can be processed by the earlier process two node tree template. And now we can finish the process two node tree template using the process three node tree template. Notice how closely these templates correspond to the data definitions. Now, using our templates, let's start a function that sums the numbers in an entire two-node tree structure. We have our signature, purpose statement, and examples. According to our templates, we will need a function that sums the numbers in an entire three-node tree structure. Following the design recipe, we have the signature, purpose, and examples of a function that sums the numbers in an entire three node tree structure. Let's copy and paste our templates and change the names. Notice how the sum2 function calls the sum3 function, and the sum3 function calls the sum2 function. In both the sum2 and sum3 functions, in the empty cases, there are no numbers to sum, so we can safely put zero. Then, in the sum2 function, when we have a two structure, we have the two numbers stored in the structure. We also have the result of calling sum3 on the three node tree, which should return a number representing the sum of the entire three node tree, according to the signature and purpose of sum3. Thus, to get the entire sum, we have to add all these numbers together. Plus can take multiple inputs, not just two. Similarly, in the sum3 function, we have three numbers returned by the accessor functions. We also have the result of summing the entire two node tree returned by the three next accessor. To return the sum, we add all these numbers together. And that's it, our tests pass. Remember, as with most complex data, Having a template makes writing functions with complex data much easier. I hope this video helped and until next time.